join us from the Brewers dugout, Kyle Loesch. How are you, young man? Doing pretty good. How are y'all doing? Doing great. You're off to a, another good start this year. Pitched very, pitched a great game the other night. I watched a lot of that game against the Mets. Thanks. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, last year was a little adjustment with the modified spring that I had. And, uh, you know, we got it going in the second half, but unfortunately it was a little too late. But, um, you know, we're happy to get off to the start that we are right now. And uh, you know, we're just trying to keep keep going with it. Thanks. Loshi, what about that modified spring? You went through the process of, you know, what we see now with some free agents, the way the rules have changed. Has that kind of soured you on the new rules of Major League Baseball? Um, you know, it's made it kind of tough. I think there's a – it's raining in here. That's why the roof's closed. <laughs> Thanks, Reynolds. You guys get Reynolds on TV. He's jealous. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, it's definitely changed the way, um, you know, some of the free agency has gone. I think, uh, sorry. Um, you know, it's, it, it's a different game for some guys, and some guys uh, don't get affected by it who get traded. And, uh, you know, it's, it's still an adjustment period. We've got to figure out as players, you know, how to, how to adjust accordingly. Meanwhile, three balls and no strikes to Billy Hamilton, who led off the game with a double in the left center. Jonathan Luke really going to come out and visit Giovanni Gallardo. Now, before we talk about you, talk a little bit about Gallardo. I mean, he's been the guy most people consider to be the ace of this staff over the last number of years, his whole career here. And I know he wasn't going so well up until his last start. Did you see anything different he did in his last start? You know, this game's so funny. Sometimes you could do so much stuff, stuff right, and uh, it just doesn't work out for you. Um, I think his stuff's been great. It's just, you know, sometimes the results we get aren't what you want. And, uh, you know, he's sticking with it. He's working hard and uh, you know, doing all the things he needs to be doing to be successful. And uh, I think it's just a matter of time. You know, he started off, I think he had a couple of good starts yep. and then a couple so-so ones. And, uh, you know, I, I, I truly think he's been throwing the ball pretty consistently is just sometimes you don't get those results and how has he handled kind of some of that bad luck you know it's going to happen it happens in baseball we see it all the time how's he been kind of through the process uh the same guy you know day in and day out um you know you, we, we know it's a long season certain things are going to happen and uh you know you just got to keep doing doing the stuff you do and trusting the process um and doing everything everything right and he's, he's kept a really good mentality and and done the things that uh, he needs to do to keep going out there and being the guy that he has in the past. Well, he just got into a little bit of trouble and quickly got out of trouble. He walked Billy Hamilton, the last guy on this Reds team. You want to walk on four pitches, and then Hamilton looked like he was going right away, and they pick him off. Well, how good does that feel, Kyle? You, <laughs> anytime that's, you have Billy Hamilton on first base, and now good. you have a couple extra things to think about, how good does it feel to pick a guy it, like that off? It's really good to uh, <laughs> you know, not have to worry about that. Fortunately for me, last time I faced him, uh, he wasn't in the lineup, so I don't have to worry about it. And uh, you know, it, it is pretty impressive to watch him out there. And uh, last night we got a little taste of it when he's, you know, scooting around the bases quickly. And, uh, you know, he, that speed thing, it's always in the back of your mind when they're on base. you got to be cautious, but you don't want to think about them too much. And, you know, it just causes havoc out there. And you think he does that for guys where they're so worried about him, not necessarily saying you, but just, you know, pitchers in particular where they got a guy like that and all of a sudden they're thinking about him too much and then they end up it making can, a bad pitch and getting hurt. Yeah, Have you seen that? It can lead to a big inning quick if you're you're worried about him, you know, moving around out there on the bases. And, uh, you know, this lineup that they got behind them is uh, they got some pop. Um, you know, you, you could you can make a mistake real easily trying to rush a pitch to the plate and, you know, have a ball leave the yard. Oh, and to the count on Todd Frazier. He bounced out to the shortstop Segura his first time up. And that one in the dirt, a ball and two strikes. Kyle, for a guy who came over late in spring training last year, so many people around you talk about how you assume such a, a tremendous leadership role on this Brewers starting rotation. You've got a couple of young guys in that rotation. And now, you know, Gallardo's still a young pitcher, even though he's been around for a while. Then you bring in Garza this year. But but talk about why you felt like that was something that 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 you wanted to do and, and you needed to do for this team as Frazier is out of there on strikes. You know, I felt like over my career, you know, always hasn't been perfectly rosy. You know, everything went right. Um, you know, I figured out a lot of things the hard way and uh, felt like there was some things I could help out with a, a young Willie Peralta or a Marco Estrada. Or, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm still learning stuff. Uh, you know, we got a close, tight knit group in the rotation and we're constantly, you know, besides giving each other a hard time throwing water on each other, um, <laughs> you know, we're constantly paying attention to the game. Uh, trying to help each other out, trying to pick up different things that will make each other be successful. We go out and watch each other's bullpens, and uh, you know it's something that 
um, you know, when I was over in St. Louis, we did. You know, we had Carpenter, Wainwright, myself, Westbrook. We had all these guys that had experience. We were constantly leaning on each other, and, and uh, you know, I felt like that was something that I could bring with me over here and uh, try to help make us, you know, what we are. I tell you, know, a, a lot of team. a lot of people kind of say team chemistry doesn't mean much. You just kind of spoke to it, the chemistry you guys have even within the rotation. Yeah, Can you tell people how important that really is? I, I think it's real important, especially as a pitcher in the rotation. You want to have, you know, that's you're not going to win if you don't have strong pitching. It's going to be hard to outscore teams and uh, um, go about it like that. But, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, we got a good group of guys. We all have fun. Um, we're all there for each other. You know, it's, sometimes you get on each other and, and it makes it fun. So it's a, it's a good group. You need that chemistry. We're together so much during the year that um, you know, if you don't get along, it, I mean, you can win even with bad chemistry, but uh, you know, it's not as fun as, as doing it with good one. Kyle, thanks so much for All taking right. the time to join us. Good luck to you and the Brewers.